In preparation for landing, please check that your seat backs and tray tables are in an upright and locked position. It's not every day you get a, a world-class athlete like a Chad Ochocinco coming into the game of soccer. So to have Chad in here and, and work him out and see if over time he can progress and, and be a guy that can show up on the field, that's that's worth the investment. I'm Dave, the PR manager. Hey, Welcome. Yeah, good. I'm Rob. So Vice President of Communications. Let's good. get your bag and yeah. get out of this way. Uh -huh. So you packed for a long stay, I hope. You know what? If not, I'll just go to soccer. Let's give us in a nutshell why, you know, why you're trying this. Why not? It's a lockout. A lockout means I can do whatever I want to do. It's better than going to get in trouble, right? We get tons of trial players all the time, so we take them in, find out what size they wear. Chad's been pretty easy, yeah. He just came in, he said, that, you know, they told us what he needed, we got him the sizes. He's been really humble, he's been really professional, it's been great. Ocho Cinco. And there we go, ready for practice. My soccer background started when I was four years old. While I played football, I, I kept up with the game as much as possible. I think it's a long shot for him just because he doesn't play on a daily basis like the rest of these other guys do. But what I do believe is to be true is that out of all the guys that we bring in here, 99% of them don't have the physical tools that he does. Play smart and play simple. Yeah, simple. That's it. Hey, all the moves yeah. come with over time. Yeah. Time that I've missed. Yeah, true. I warmed up with everybody and um, I had to separate and go and go work out with one of the coaches. Let's go down. Good. And again. Good. And again. He was a little tentative and, and you know, just trying to get into a, a rhythm, if you will, of, of kicking a soccer ball. That's just one touch. Obviously he hasn't played for a while, so his touch is a little off, but uh, you could see that he, he has played the game before. Um, obviously needs a lot of work. You know, with soccer, it's like almost like tennis or golf. Yeah. You got to do it every single day, day. Yeah. over and over and over and over. Yeah. Right. The encouraging okay. thing is, as we went through a few different exercises, I think, um, you know, and a few corrections that we've made, uh, you know, he, he's able to pick things up. He's coachable and he was really, it seemed like he was focused and, and into it. Scale of one to ten, I was maybe a two. And, you know, a two for me is pretty good. A little bit on your toes also. Okay. Gives you gives you better balance when you're striking the ball. All right. He actually thinks that he can play major league soccer. Man, he's a long way. It was pretty terrible. This is more of a publicity stunt. He has a lot of speed. He does not have a lot of skill. I've never had media stunts before. I don't know what they're talking about. I go by Tiny. I'm the groundskeeper here. Well, I, I doubt he remembers me, but uh, I was in camp with Cincinnati. Um, I guess it'd probably be 0 02. Did you enjoy your time out here? Yeah. Now I'm doing this, so it didn't turn out too well. well it's a pleasure, man. <laughs> yep, you too. Right? Have a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is interesting to see him when he gets in the open field because he can fly down the sideline. Got some lucky crosses. I think two on the ground, one in the air, right on the money. Oh, you bastard! He, he did a great job, and uh, you could see today he was a lot better than, than yesterday. You know, I can't be delusional. Where do I sign the dotted line at? It takes an extreme amount of skill and years of practice to be able to, to walk out in that field and feel good. But uh, I, I think I did OK. Pepe will score. Since I'm the new guy here, I'm taking everybody to Fogo to Child tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, baby. I think so. I'm not late. I'm paying for dinner early. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joy. Uh, amazing. It's good. I'm full. I'm a 10 year vet. But here, I'm the rookie. It's cool. It's fun. Oh, that was really nice of him. Everyone's really excited, and everyone wants, uh, wants him to stay here longer now. Before practice, we had already scheduled that we would meet on Friday, uh, three days into uh, his actual training with us. How would you assess yourself up to this point? Mm. I mean, not 
nowhere near good enough to make the team at, at all. But I, I think I, I've improved, you know, uh, in two days. The main topic was not only his assessment thus far, but more importantly, it was to extend his time here with us because each day he's, he just becomes more and more a part of the game. On Monday, we have um, a reserve game. I'd like to give you the opportunity to play 20, 30, 45. How does that sound? I mean, that's up to you, though. Oh, yeah, I like it. You, you good for that? Yeah, most definitely. I think I would make it past what I would like to call the first cut. What I have found out through through working with you over these last few days that that you're a real gentleman, a professional, and, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay? I appreciate it. Thank you, bro. All right. Okay. All right, we'll see you on the field. All right. It's awesome. I have, right now, words can't even describe. I like to prove people wrong, especially all the doubters. You know, everybody knows I can't play this level because I haven't played in years. It's not the whole point. It's about it being a dream of mine and not being scared to go out and, and fail and keep on trying and, and failing again and just getting up and trying again. That's what it's all about, knowing I might not ever get to their point or where they are, but just to be able to go out there and, and do it at this level, man, is unbelievable. Dude. Go, Ocho! Oh, Where am I? You're right here.